this is the Mushroom Hunter. I'm in Portage County, of all places, in a park, you can see behind me. Um, and actually, in a playground at the park. And found some interesting mushrooms here that can grow in spring and fall, sometimes in uh, summer as well, and they're called wine caps. Um, and this is what they look like here. Wine cap mushrooms uh, are called that because uh, very often they actually have a wine colored cap, um, but that can fade fairly quickly into this sort of brown. So sometimes they are much more red. Uh, it tends to, they tend to be more, uh, more reddish if they are growing in shade and it seems like the sun kind of fades these things out. Uh, wine caps start off with a, with sort of gray gills, and those gills turn, I don't know, bluish gray, charcoal as they age. There's a, there's maybe a little bit of, of red tint in there. Um, they have a normal cap and stem like most of your other, uh, you know, most of your other sort of normal looking mushrooms. And the thing about these is they grow in mulch and sort of wood chips and wood debris. So uh, you often find these growing in mulch, maybe near your house or in parks, sometimes in wood debris that is collected in uh, in the woods. Um, and they uh, they basically, you know, they're, they're pretty straightforward mushrooms as far as flavor goes. Um, there might be a couple look-alikes out there, so uh, I can't think off the top of my head what those would be right this second, but um, you might want to look these things up in your uh, your local or regional field guide or whatever you have or, or online. The, uh, the curious thing about wine caps is that I think they are, in my opinion, probably the easiest edible mushrooms to cultivate. Uh, and that is because since they do grow in wood chips or wood debris, uh, Basically, what I can do is is try to collect some of the wood chips that are along the bottom of the base of the uh, the mushroom here, and these wood chips, and I can kind of see here, I have the mycelium attached to it. Can you see that? I think you can. Uh, um, so you can see these kind of threads. Um, which are the rhizomorphs or the mycelium, and basically every little clump of uh, every little clump of dirt or a clump of debris that collects to this has that mycelium growing through it. I could take this home, uh, take especially the the part at the bottom, cut it off, throw it in some wood chips, some uh, wet wood chips or mulch, and this should take over. Um, eventually, the, the mycelium and these threads are going to start growing throughout that, uh, those wood chips. You can also buy spawn online. There are lots of uh, websites that will actually sell wood chips that have the uh, mycelium already growing through it. Much easier than trying to do it yourself. You can just basically mix that in with some wood chips in your yard, in your garden, along, the, along your woods. And these will continue to grow and they should actually fruit every spring and every fall as long as you keep feeding them more wood chips or mulch. So again, very easy to identify or very easy to grow and fairly easy to identify too. Here's a, this one's slightly younger and you can see you can't even really see the gills. It's, it's covered by a, a, a veil um, that can pull away and sometimes end up as a little kind of a cog wheel on the, uh, on the stem. I'm not seeing that on any of these here. Um, this one in particular, you can kind of see that that veil has uh, that has kind of fallen apart and it's all sticking to the edge of the uh, sort of dangling from the cap there. So anyway, wine caps, very, very interesting mushrooms. This one has a much lighter color to the to the pore surface. Again, that'll turn slightly more charcoal gray as they age. Uh, anyway, wine cap mushrooms. Good edibles, pretty straightforward, mushroom flavor, very similar to button mushrooms in the store. But again, um, something that's very easy to grow. So if, if you're interested in cultivating your own mushrooms, um, you don't need 
to you don't need to you don't need logs you don't need to to, uh, to drill holes in the logs and, and put plugs in and seal it with wax like you generally have to do for oysters and shiitakes and many other wood decaying mushrooms anyway uh, pretty pretty straightforward and and a fun mushroom to find grow and eat anyway this is uh, Don King the mushroom hunter happy hunting <laughs>